Hello, Vira users! Alex here, your Vira guide, and today we are going to continue our Photoshop sessions on color correction and working with passes. I've got some uh, nice emails from people requesting uh, to show how Evermotion did their PSD uh, passes combination. Um, later on, I'll provide this link, uh, it's uh, free downloadable from Evermotion website. So let's get down to our business and see how Evermotion really did it. So, um, the first uh, they added an RGB la layer, the first uh, layer, the basic uh, rendered image, and uh, they started to add up on this image different layers in order to improve uh, the final look. So, the first image, uh, so the first layer, the first pass that was added was a raw reflection, and we've got it here raw reflection. Going to edit this and they used soft light mode and reduced the opacity to 50 something like that and as you see here we've got much more reflections um, the next um, oh and they added they added a noise reduction to it we have here noise reduce noise noise reduction you can play with this filter as you know as sharpened details goes up we get much more crispy image so uh, I would suggest you not to go beyond uh, 60 or 70 percent something like this would be just fine um, the next uh, the next layer was um, uh, raw GI raw global illumination here we go and I'll add this also as well and it was applied with a soft light mode and 70 percent 71 percent actually and uh, if I press ctrl A and ctrl C they used this file as a mask for um, for blending mode so um, here you got real, uh, layer mask reveal all and in channel mode I got another layer so if I just press ctrl V and I'll paste that file, that uh, pass, I will get it as a mask. Uh, they also added a little bit of um, of levels. They corrected a little bit levels. So uh, this pass got really contrasted look. So uh, basically, it was um, it was only to provide more uh, accurate uh, global illumination um, uh, pass. So uh, next uh, it was uh, they added a little bit um, a little bit color correction to that uh, to that layer and as I see here it is a little bit green something like that and then the high tones So I've got a little green look. Just about it could be could work just fine. Um, you need to be you need to be very uh, very careful uh, because uh, not every layer every image got the same layers and got the same method of applying. So uh, you need to play a little bit to see how every every layer fits better to your image so just about it could be fine the next thing they added um, a layer and uh, they colored it with uh, with a color with yellowish color and also used it as a soft soft light but for mask they have used a z depth and again i'll press ctrl a ctrl c I'll add reveal all mask, go to channels, select the channel, press Ctrl V and I get this, um, as you see here, I get this on the front. They inverted this, uh, this uh, Z-depth mask. So I'll press here invert and as you see here, 
it uh, actually got my background uh, more yellowish color of course they reduced opacity to about 40% and as you see here I got this nice and smooth tr uh, translation a transition from uh, foreground to background uh, from a little bit bluish color to a little bit yellowish color for outside um, the next thing that was they added a little bit of uh, um, add a little bit curves and these curves were applied to all uh, to all my layers so if I just add adjustment layer and press curves press here ok I can add a little bit of, uh, of lighting to my image and I'll paste exactly the same uh, Z, Z depth into this image whoops I need to go to channels and I'll paste it in the mask so as you see here my, uh, my background got a little bit color corrected I might increase it a little bit more something like this so as you see here my foreground got more color corrected uh, more curved corrected um, adjustment the next thing was uh, raw lighting they added a raw lighting pass raw lighting pass here we go and it was added as a s on the soft uh, on the soft mode Oops. control D to deselect it was also added on um, on the soft light mode and as you see here it brought much more contrast to my image it was around 50% of adjustment something like this see here um, the next thing was um, raw reflection with filter they got this a uh, little bit weird way to edit because uh, they added raw ref refraction reflection filter here we go they used this as a as a, they used this layer as a mask and actually used this as a as a layer as a blending mode but uh, actually um, I use it uh, on reversal mode I, I use this this layer as a as a as a base layer and this one oops and this one as a mask so um, just control a control c close it and as i see here they add a little bit glow and i'm going to add glow to this layer this sort glow and um, i'm going to paste the selected layer i'm going to paste I'm going to add a little bit glow and I'm going to layer mask reveal all and I'm going to paste that layer in the channel but uh, as you see here this um, this is good for images they got uh, walls in between or um, or or some openings that do not mix with the background my actually opening is uh, is a one big mix with the background and uh, that's why it's um, do not work that perfectly so I'm just going to hide this layer and um, the final thing they did is uh, they added um, unsharp mask so I'm going to duplicate this layer flatten image add a noise sharp unsharp mask I'm going to add unsharp mask something like this and I'm going to add this to my image as a final layer so this is basically it this is a uh, one method to combine uh, passes with uh, with Photoshop there's a lot of different methods actually I'll be doing some training about this very soon so if you didn't succeed in it you can always download this file from my blog also Evermotion link uh, will be provided and um, if you have any questions, just post a comment. This was Alex, your weary guide. Talk soon. Bye.